Hello and welcome to Galaxy Advisors. The purpose of this video is to explain how to run Condor on Amazon Web Services. This is the first of part one of four. I'd like to begin with an acknowledgement and thanks to Philip Steger at MIT for detailing the steps of which without his help I could not have made this video. Thanks very much Philip. Now, how do you run Condor on Amazon Web Services? Well, there are really four major steps to, to have Condor run on Amazon Web Services. The first one, which this is video is about, is to sign up for Amazon account, requires a credit card and a phone verification. And note that uh, the AWS or Amazon Web Service offers new customers one free tier one access. So you can run Condor basically for one year uh, for free of charge. Uh, the second step is going to be uh, log into and, uh, the Amazon Web Services console and set up a server and launch a new instance, which will be in a separate video. And then depending if you're a Mac user, you can set up a remote desktop for a connection for a Mac. Or if you're a PC version, I'll go through and explain how to set up the remote desktop connection on your PC. And then the final um, part four is to set up Condor by installing all the required software. Java, Java 3D, MySQL, Navicat, which is optional in Condor. Then you're ready to run Condor on Amazon Web Services remote control from your Mac or your PC. So the first step is to sign up for Amazon's Web Services, which is a video explaining the next steps. So go to uh, http colon forward slash forward slash aws.amazon.com and for your information, if you in the YouTube video, if you click the description, I'll have all the links that appear in this video here so you don't have to type them in. Uh, so again, just look under the description, you'll find the links there. So the step 1A is to go to that uh, website to create and then click sign up now. Uh, the next step is to enter your email address. Uh, there indicated and you want to bullet I am a new user and then click sign in using your secure server. Uh, next uh, is to enter your login credentials. Uh, again, uh, put in your name, uh, your email address will be inserted. Uh, type it again just for confirmation. Uh, enter a password and uh, type it in again and click continue. Uh, the next is to contact information, so enter your name and so forth. Uh, one thing I did find that um, I didn't know my uh, zip plus four, so after I clicked uh, at the very bottom create account and continue, it came back and gave me a little notification and read that, um, you know, you needed your zip plus four and actually inserted it, so I just bulleted it. So um, if you don't know your zip plus four, um, right off the top of your head, you'll get a little note that says, um, please check this. For then after that, uh, Amazon uh, will send you a welcome email uh, here with a number of other uh, links that um, we'll talk about the Amazon Web Services. Uh, then you're going to enter in your payment information, uh, kind of the next step in the creating the account. Uh, so select your credit card um, and so on, card number, card holder. And if your billing address is different, um, just select a new address at the very bottom, then click continue. Uh, then uh, it's kind of unique here that I found that Amazon asked for a phone verification. So um, this process is the country code, um, enter your phone number, and then say call me. And once it calls you, I entered in my cell number. It called my cell phone. And at that point, it uh, appeared on the screen uh, here a four digit number on my computer to enter in. So once I entered that four digit number on my phone, I you got a phone verification that completes. So then um, after the phone um, uh, calls, it completes the verification on this click uh, continue. And then finally, you'll get a confirmation um, notice. Um, and it says in the note here that uh, we're going to notify me uh, once the verification is complete. Um, however, it might take a few minutes, a few hours. Well, I waited uh, three hours and then I said, well, I better just log in. Um, so what I found is that it might be helpful for you that actually um, is to log into the account. And as soon as I did, coincidentally, I got my confirmation email. So I would suggest that you sign into the AWS console uh, above uh, and at this link. Uh, click on, on the far right, uh, My Account Console, My Account. 
And then this time, um, you want to enter in, I am returning user, enter in your password that you just created, and click and sign using your secure server, our secure server. So then you'll get, uh, and as soon as I got into the AWS console, I received a notification that uh, my confirmation email was there. So I suspect that you just might help speed the process. Uh, then you'll get this AWS confirmation email with a number of other links about learn, develop, and manage the AWS services. Um, so in essence, that really kind of completes the first step, which was to sign up for an Amazon account. Uh, the next step is going to be part two, which is going to explain how to log in to the AWS console and set up a server and launch a new instance. And then depending if you're a Mac or a PC or version, I'll explain in part 3A or part 3B how to do that. And then finally, part four of four will be setting up Condor by installing all the software. Then after which you're ready to run Condor on Amazon Web Services and from remote control from either your Mac or your PC. So that's it. That's step one. Um, go back and look at uh, the um, part two of four now.